Hi there! So welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Grace from Graceful Homeschooling and um, if you are new to this channel, welcome! We are a homeschooling family who shares our homeschool journey, family activities, learning experiences, and even yung mga learning materials and teaching materials. We are also intervention um, okay so I'm so excited to share uh, this to you because I have prepared a lot of materials a lot of hands-on activities you can also do in your homeschooling okay so let's start with these reading skills for Yosh okay so I've listed these reading skills na gagawin namin for this school year so these are the list of basic skills that should be achieved for reading after the school year. So madaming mga uh, reading skills in the internet na pwede yung kunen. And pwede nyo ding i-customize kung ano yung mga reading skills that you want to achieve this school year. But for us, we only have three. So we came up with three uh, reading skills for my son, Yosh. Okay, the first one is yung alphabet sounds. So, yung alphabet sounds, um, by the end of the year, ang hope namin is that he would identify the sounds um, as uh, associated with the letters of the alphabet. So, yon alphabet sounds. The next one is alphabet names. So, recognizes and names letters. And yung number three na reading skill namin na, that we're hoping to achieve this school year is yung fluency. So, by the end of the year, our hope is that he would be able to blend words orally with three sounds. So, when you say three sounds, that would be CVC or yung consonant, vowel, consonant na tinatawag. Like, for example, yung cat or uh, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant or yung VCC. Okay, yung VCC, an example of that is yung ant. Okay, so by the end of the year, we hope that he would blend words orally with these three sounds. And then he would understand also the difference between letters and words. So that's the reading skills na sinet namin for this school year that we would want to achieve. Okay, a lot of moms are asking me kung paano ko tinuturuan yung mga anak ko ng reading. Okay, or, or phonics or English. So, I came up with these three steps, okay? Three steps in teaching phonics or teaching reading. So, this is only a suggestion on how to teach this phonics intervention. First is instruction, second is guided practice, and then next ay yung application. Okay, so these are the three steps on how I teach phonics or how I teach reading. Even actually, even in math, this is how I also uh, teach them math. So, instruction, guided practice, and application. Okay, and so, how do we do it? Or how do we do this um, phonics or phonics intervention? Okay, so, meron kami dito my daily task uh, worksheet. So, every day, uh, nagpiprint ako nito. Tapos, uh, we are just using this so we would see the progress that we have for, the, for a particular day. Okay, so like for example, ito yung mga task niya in reading, writing, math, and then life skills. We would like to focus on the three core centers, which is yung three R's, okay? Yun yung reading, writing, and then arithmetic or yung math. So, dinagdagan lang namin ng life skills kasi I would want um, Yosh to uh, learn then yung mga life skills. And then, ito yung mga extra tasks kung meron man ako sa kanyang ipapagawa. Okay, and then meron itong week. Then I have to write lang kung anong week na kami, kung anong date nun para 
um, mag, makita ko lang yung progress namin when it comes to phonics or reading. Okay, and then after, uh, af- after the school day, so I would just ask uh, him to color yung mga stars na nandito kung natapos niya yung mga tasks given to him for that particular day. Okay, so that's my daily task worksheet. Okay, so now this is an example of our um, lesson plan. Okay, so this is Yosha's lesson plan for phonics or for this phonics intervention. He will do this phonics intervention for 30 minutes per day. So this lesson plan uh, shows also hands-on activities for each intervention. Okay, um, if as you can see in this lesson plan, may mga pictures siya. So, mga pictures ng mga activities because I'm a visual learner. So, I would want it na nakikita ko kung ano yung mga activities na gagawin namin. Okay, so this is, I will walk you through this lesson plan. Okay, so here in this part, in this column, ito yung mga skills that we have set for the whole school year. Okay, so alphabet sounds, alphabet names, and then fluency. And then for this um, column naman, this is a multi-sensory learning. Okay, so um, multi-sensory learning means um, natatouch mo lahat ng mga learning styles ng isang bata. So like for example, if the, the kid is a kinesthetic learner, so matatouch mo yon. If he is a visual learner, matatouch din yun. And if he is an auditory learner, matatouch din yun. So that's why it's multi-sensory learning. So I have here yung eyes to hear, eyes to see, hands to build, and mind to think. Here are the activities na meron kami for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So for the alphabet sounds, okay, yung alphabet sounds, um, meron akong ginawa na... Uh, video lesson about how to teach a child to read. Okay, so this is just a one minute video. So we we will uh, be listening to it every day para ma-familiarize lang siya sa sounds of the letters of the alphabet. Okay, so and then we would do one letter per week. Okay, so for example, this week I letter A. So for the whole week, yun lang yung pag-aaralan namin. So letter A. So, yung mga gagamitin ko materials for that I, uh, are just flashcards for the uppercase and lowercase letters. Now, you can actually um, do just yung uppercase muna, uppercase letters, or pwede din naman yung lowercase letters muna. But you can also do simultaneously. Uh, uh, pwede yung uppercase and lowercase letters. Okay, so that's for the alphabet sound. So, importante that the child would... Um, would learn the sounds of the alphabet muna bago yung mga letter names. Kasi mas matagal matutong magbasa yung bata pagka na mas nauna niyang natutunan yung letter names kesa doon sa sounds of the letters of the alphabet. Okay? So, that's the alphabet sounds. And then, yung alphabet names naman, so, eyes to see and hands to build. So, these are hands-on activities na nilagay ko dito so he would be so engaged to the subject or to the lesson so meron dito ang alphabet cover cards alphabet elimination cards beginning letter strips and then alphabet picture cards okay so these are some of the activities that we will be using for this unit okay and then for uh, and then later i'm gonna show it to you kung paano namin siya gagawin Okay, and then next are yung fluency. This is mind to think. Okay, so we have actually two um, two activities for this. The fluency sound cards and then the fluency reader cards. So I'll show it to you uh, how we use the fluency sound cards and the fluency reader cards. Alright, yung next I this one, hands-on activities. So, these are just some of the hands-on activities that we will be using for the whole school year. So, ang example nito ay mga alphabet picture cards, beginning letter strips, and then there's also math, yung mga see it, build it math, and then I can see letters math, and meron ding mga boards like alphabet matching board, then cover the letter board, and then letter hand board. Okay, so this is what um, we will be doing. So, we want 
I always love to do hands-on activities when I teach my kids kasi sobrang engaging niya sa mga bata pag experiential at pag nahawakan nila yung um yung lesson parang sobrang uh, na-engage sila and natututo sila when it when um we, we do hands-on activities and this is what I'm also excited about today kasi I'm going to give this away for free this unit for in phonics intervention. So, yung unit 1 ng phonics intervention, I'm gonna give it away for free. So, you can get a soft copy, but you just have to look for our Facebook page. Okay? So, I'm gonna put the link of our Facebook page in the description box. And, um, click nyo lang yon. And then, follow the simple mechanics. So, sobrang simple lang ng mechanics for you to be able to get these materials. Okay? So, there, before I start doing, um, uh, showing you these hands-on activities, I would just like to announce that uh, this unit one of the phonics intervention, I'm, gonna, I'm going to give it away for free. Okay, so I'm going to show you the hands-on activities one by one. So this is how I will do yung phonics intervention for Yosh this school year. Okay, so let's start with alphabet sounds. Uh, there is this one video that I made. It's teach a child to read. So it's a video wow. lesson. And then uh, it will teach the child to read the or to learn the sounds of the letters of the alphabet. Okay, so that's for the first um, one. And then letter of the week, like for example, um, it's letter A. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab our um, alphabet board and then show... Uh, show him the letter A. Okay, so like for example, where is letter A? Where is letter A? Okay, all right there. There's letter A and then what's the sound of letter A? Ah, ah, okay. Can you do it again? Ah, ah, okay. A says ah, 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 ah. Apple, apple. Apple, okay. So that's how we do it. So I'm gonna grab this letter board and sometimes the man so I would just do this with this up um, with this chart here okay so this is the chart with the picture cards so I have here the picture cards and then I would just uh, ask him okay can you get the uh, thing or the picture that begins or starts with a or with ah that has the sound ah ah or beginning sound ah ah Okay, and then he would just grab this apple, this picture, and then I would ask him to go to the um, letter board and then get the letter A. Okay, so here. So, letter A, and then he has to match it lang with the picture card. Okay, so that's how we do the picture cards. So, A says, ah. A apple. Okay, the next activity is this alphabet chart. Okay, so I'm gonna ask him, uh, can you pick the letter A in the alphabet board and then put it in the letter A in the alphabet chart? And then he would just grab the letter A and then place it here in the chart. Okay, that's how we do the alphabet chart. Okay, our next activity is this one. So, this is the beginning letter uh, letter strip card. So, I have here this strip cards. And then, what the child will do is to just sound out the beginning letter. So, like for example, this one, this is a leaf. Okay, so the, be the beginning letter is L, L. So, that's letter L. And then, this one is a tiger, okay? And then, the child will just sound it out. T -t -t -t. And this one is an iguana. And the child will sound it, sound it out. I -i -i -i. And then, this one is a star. And the child would sound it out. That's the beginning letter strip. Now, for added fun, what I'm doing is that I'm just gonna ask him to, okay, get the... Uh, the beginning letters, okay, the, the magnetic letters, and then match it with the beginning letter of the pictures here 
in this strip. Okay, so since this one is L, he would get um, letter L. Okay, there. And then this one is tiger. So that's letter T. This one is iguana. He would get the letter I. And then this one is a star. He would get the letter S. Okay, that's the letter or the beginning letter strip. Okay, the next activity is this, this cover, let, cover the letter cards. Okay, so yung cover the letter cards, he has to cover lang kung ano yung uh, letter na as instructed. So like for example, cover the uppercase and lowercase letters A. Okay, yan, di pala nakikita. So cover the uppercase and lowercase letters A. Then use manipulatives or counters to do it. So like for example, this one, this card. Alright, so it says the letters um, letters A. Okay, the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter A. So I'm using this counter. So it's a clear one para nakikita pa rin yung letters. Okay, so letter A. So there's the uppercase letter and here's the lowercase letter. And then after the child is done doing the task, ko color lang niya yung star. Okay, so sobrang fun para sa kanila nung nagkukulay kasi makikita nila, oh, I'm done with this task. So, nakulayan na niya kasi yun. Okay, so let's do another one. So, that's for example, cover the uppercase and lowercase letters L. So, use manipulatives the same. So, the, he has to look for the uppercase letter L and then the lowercase letter L. Then, if, he, if he's done with the task, just color the star. Okay, so that's the cover the letter cards. Next is this elimination card. Okay, so the child would have to eliminate the letters that don't match with the letter in the center. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, and this one. So this one is letter Q, so it looks like letter A. So kaya mas tricky siya kasi uh, it looks the same pero there are different letters so you ha he has to cover that so let's have another example okay so this one the letter H so which what are the letters that don't match with letter H so he has to cover it so this one this one this one this one and okay this one okay so this one so that's the cover the letters or elimination cards activity. Okay, for the next activity is the is this cover it alphabet board. So this alphabet board ay mga uppercase letters. So what the child needs to do is to match the uppercase letters with uh, the lowercase letters. So he has to go to the uh, magnetic magnetic uh, letters and then match it with the uppercase letters. So like for example, letter A. So he has to match it there. Um, letter U. So he has to match letter U, the uppercase letter with the lowercase letter, magnetic letter. And then let's say for example, letter X. He has to match it with the lowercase letter X. So that's the cover it alphabet board. So meron ding um, cover it alphabet board na lowercase letters wherein the child would um, match naman the, these lowercase letters with the uppercase letters. Okay, I have here naman yung I can see letters with holes. So meron tong I can see letters with holes and then I can see letters with lines and then I can see letters with curves. So, so what the child needs to do is to look for the letters that uh, with holes. Okay, so what are the letters with holes? So he's gonna put the letters lang in the mat. Okay, so these are the the letters with holes. Okay, there. And then after na matapos with this sheet, I can see letters naman with curves and then I can see letters with lines. Okay, so those are the hands-on activities, okay? Some of the hands-on activities that we will be using for the phonics intervention. So now we will go with the fluency readers. Okay, so these are the fluency readers cards. So like for example, this one. 
So you have to point your finger to the dot and sound out the letter. So it's important that the child would uh, put or place or point his finger on the dot before reading the letters or sounding out the letters because para ma-avoid yung memorization. So like for example, ah, 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 apple, ah, 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 alligator. Do it again, ah, 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 apple, ah, 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 alligator. And then after he's done with the uh, card, with the task, after he, he's done reading, he has to color the star. Okay, let's do it again. B, 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 ball. B, 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 banana. And then, color it. Color the star again. Alright, hanggang matapos niya yung letter Z. Okay. And then, what I have here naman is this uh, fluency sound reader. So, this one, it's... um. Pag alam na ng anak nyo or ng bata yung mga sounds of the letters of the alphabet, pag na-master na niya yung mga sounds, ito na yung pwedeng activity. So, because he has to sound out yung b, b, ball, b, b, bear. And then, he has to get a magnetic letter and then place it here. So, that's letter B. B, ball, b, bear. Or pwede naman, like for example, b, b, ball, or b, b, pair. So that's, pwede niyang isulat. Letter B. Okay, let's do another one. K, k, crown, k, k, camel. That's letter C. Okay, so there you have it. Um, this is how I teach my kids with um, reading and phonics. So this is the phonics intervention. Um, let me just remind you, okay? A few reminders lang. Um, just enjoy your time with your kids. So, so if um, hindi niya makuha, hindi niya matutunan yung sounds ng letters of the alphabet, hindi niya matandaan kung ano yung letter, don't be pressured. Huwag kang ma-stress. Um, just enjoy your child. Remember that in, in homeschooling, relationship is more important than the academics. So that's one reminder, and then the second reminder is that uh, mas matututo, mas mabilis matuto magbasa yung anak nyo if you are reading to them. So it's important that you sit down with your with your child and then read to them lang. Because when you read to them, when you sit down together and read to them, and then when they see how you sound out the 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 sounds of the letters na associate niya ngayon yung mga letters na yon, yung sound na yon dun sa mga letters. So, yun lang yung dalawang reminders ko for you to enjoy your time with your kids and to read aloud to them. Okay, so there you go! So, that's how um, I teach my kids with reading. Uh, so, this is the phonics intervention, the unit one of the phonics intervention. And like what I've said earlier, I am so excited and so happy to give this away um, for free, the soft copy of all of these activities. Actually, marami pa akong mga hands-on activities na hindi napakita sa inyo, but um, nandun siya, included siya in the unit one of this phonics intervention. So if you want to grab a copy of this um, unit one phonics intervention, just go to the Facebook page. Na ang link niya is in the description box and then do the mechanics, just follow the mechanics. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for staying with me. And I just hope to see you soon again, to see you in our next video. So thank you very much. God bless everyone. Bye!